I want to basically do what we did this morning. Here is, you can see the pressure's coming in where it goes in a little bit of center. And now I'm doing that anterior and inferior drag. And if I came higher, mm -hmm. and down, there I'm doing that bird wing. You can see coming in with that pressure. And I want to reiterate what I said this morning. None of this proves anything, but it definitely shows that we're having an, an effect, right? And there, that one's really easy mm -hmm. to see as we do pressure downward, and then I let go. Mm -hmm. And downward, and let go. Now she is like, She's a poster child for symmetry there, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, really nice. Now I want to come on under the SCMs. And here we're going to introduce, okay, we got a little angle on that already. That's interesting. Mm. Hmm. Even though I'm coming in, well, wow, each time I do it, I come in with what I think is pretty equal pressure. But you see what's happening? Mm -hmm. yep. um, Shelby, as I do this, what do you feel? I feel, um, oh, I feel my UES opening, which I can see it here, actually. Sorry, I had to swallow. Right here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. See my UES opening back there? Yeah, yeah. So now, let me see what, ha I want to try something here. I want to see if, I, uh, there we mm -hmm. go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm extemporizing here at, mm -hmm. Okay, what's, mm, tell me, mm. I can feel um, this, almost like I'm gonna burp because I think my UES is about to open. I feel like I have a little bit of reflux coming back up. Is that familiar? Um, a little bit, yeah, after yeah. lunch, immediately after lunch. Immediately yeah. after lunch, mm -hmm. right. Um, so now I'm gonna come in one side mm -hmm. and we're gonna explore like that. Mm. And I'm all right-handed right now. And then we're gonna to go to the left. And what's, what's so interesting is at best I can get things to near neutral when I'm in there. But when I let go, she just pops back to perfectly Can you do neutral. that again and you can see my carotid um, by um, actually pulsating, what which, you just did? Which one? One side. You, didn't, you don't have it yet, the other side? The right side, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And where is it? Back by my UES, I just saw the wall. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I can feel it right now, right there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is that as a result, is that just muscle, like, like twinging, or are you moving your fingers that way? I think that we've just disoriented things enough where it's becoming a little bit closer to the inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. Okay, right there. Mm -hmm. So you got a gnarly bit um, right in there. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm way over low on the left, down at about C6. What do you feel as I do that? I feel that radiating um, toward my shoulder just a bit. Is that what you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. right? She was talking about left shoulder radiation um, right there. Um, it makes perfect sense. I'm in the region of the cervical nerve roots. Mm -hmm. um, which would be consistent with that. What about what about your voice? What about swallowing? What about globus? What about your? I feel um, as if I were to have reflux or globus. I can feel that right yeah. right here. Yeah. Now let me come out for a second again, mm -hmm. and I want to come back in. I don't have a really good plausible explanation for why every time I move in with equal pressure, she does that rightward orientation. I I don't I have no idea. Anybody have a speculation? No, I don't either. Besides that we're wonky, right? <laughs> um, right there. There's some... Could that be some of your, like, you feeling like any of the tethered tissue where your scar is? Where he's in there? Potential, I mean, maybe, yeah. but... So, again, none of this proves anything. But it <clears throat> does prove that when we poke on the outside, there's an internal effect. And we're working from that mindset. What I want to do here, Shelby, is I'm going to come in where we're going to go mm -hmm. later this morning or later this afternoon, and I'm going to come in. Um, what I'm doing is I'm almost above the sternum. And when I do this, what do you feel? 
I definitely feel my UES, it just feels like my larynx is dropping. Okay. Do me a favor and, and try a very gentle swallow. Don't do a full one. Do a gentle one. There we go. <clears throat> and as you do that, what did you feel? It was harder to swallow. It's harder to swallow. Mm -hmm. Is that, can you relate to that feeling at all? Um, no, not really. I mean, I don't, I don't have too much trouble swallowing, but. Got it. I'm basically creating an increased resistance to swallowing right here. Mm -hmm. um, what would happen if I would do that upward, mm. upward scoop like that? Mm. Now we didn't lose symmetry that time, you notice? Mm -hmm. we, if we drop down, Ooh. but that time yeah. we did, yep. Yeah. And even if I just, mm, I can keep things in alignment, but boy, that's it. Shoulder just a bit. Is that what you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Right. She was talking about left shoulder radiation um, right there. Um, it makes perfect sense. I'm in the region of the cervical nerve roots. Mm -hmm. um, 